September 22nd I think that some of the greatest prayer is prayer where you don't say one single word or ask for anything A W Tozer Today's quote is taken from Tozer's book Worship the Missing Jewel He is commenting on Psalm 116 1 and 2 which says I love the Lord because he has heard my voice and my supplications because he has inclined his ear to me therefore I will call upon him as long as I live Tosa writes I think that some of the greatest prayer is prayer where you don't say one single word or ask for anything now God does answer and he does give us what we ask for that's plain nobody can deny that unless he denies the scriptures but that's only one aspect of prayer and it's not even the important aspect sometimes i go to god and say god if thou dost never answer another prayer while i live on this earth i will still worship thee as long as i live and in the ages to come for what thou hast done already god's already put me so far in debt that if i were to live 1 million millenniums i couldn't pay him for what he's done for me we go to god as we send a boy to a grocery store with a long written list god give me this give me this and give me this and our gracious god often does give us what we want but i think god is disappointed because we make him to be no more than a source of what we want even our lord jesus is presented too often much as someone who will meet your need that's the throbbing heart of modern evangelism you're in need and jesus will meet your need he is the need meter well he is that indeed but ah he's infinitely more than that truly God is infinitely more than an ATM or Santa Claus. Let our prayers reflect that reality. Today, why don't you sit in silence in his presence with nothing to ask in prayer but just to be with him for the joy of his company. Today's prayer, Father, forgive me for all the times I have treated you as nothing more than a need meter.